Hi, if you're looking to set up this attractive macOS SQL replica on your Windows desktop without doing too much, in this video, I'll be putting you through this. You can get this done in a matter of minutes. Welcome to this channel. Let's jump straight to it. Now, first thing we're going to do right now is to hide these desktop icons. Just right click on your desktop, go on to view, and now you're going to select show desktop icons. Just click on that. The next thing we're going to do is to change this wallpaper. To do that, we're going to head on to a browser. I'll be leaving all these links in the description for you guys so you can just proceed and download from there. Okay, we have this wallpaper, it's a secure wallpaper. And I'm going to scroll down here. We have three options here light, dark, and dynamic. We're going to need the light wallpaper for this, so I'm going to click on light. Now it's going to open a new page, just right click on here and we're going to select save image as now you're going to choose the location i'm going to go for download just highlight on that and click on save so once that's downloaded we're going to head on to the file location and here we have this wallpaper just right click on it and set as desktop background minimize now we have this macOS sequoia wallpaper we're going to proceed to the next step which is to download the macOS doc before we do that we're going to do something about this taskbar okay i'm going to hide this taskbar to do that just right click on the taskbar here go to your taskbar settings that taskbar settings just scroll down now on the taskbar behaviors you're going to go right here click on this arrow down here select automatically hide taskbar click on that after doing that just x on this the taskbar is not visible anymore but when you navigate down here it appears I'm going to let you know why we're doing this in a bit. We're going to proceed to the browser. And here we're going to download this macOS doc. Like I said earlier, I'm going to be leaving all these links for you guys. And just scroll down here all the way. We have two options here. We have the old version. We have the new version. So we're going for the new version. Just going to click on download. I will click on this one on the left side here. Just click on that. I'm just going to go to the right side here and click on this download icon. download is complete now we're going to head on back to the download folder now you're going to highlight on this zip file my doc finder just right click on it and select extract all click on extract so that's done you're just going to x on this close this I'm going to open this folder just open it all you have to do is to highlight on my doc right click on it and cut okay just cut it and we're gonna add on to this pc expand it i'm gonna go to windows c and we're gonna paste it right here just go ahead and open my doc click on that now you're just gonna go ahead and double click on this doc 64 and if you get this kind of info just go on to more info then click on run anyway okay after doing that just gonna close this so guys here we have this doc here we have the finder right here up here Actually, you can completely hide the taskbar if you want, but the reason why I'm doing this is because of those that are not used to this macOS doc, so you can alternate between both, okay? So when you navigate down here, you get your taskbar, and you can do that until you get used to this macOS doc, okay? Actually, there's not much to be done here, but we're going to make some slight changes to this. Just go to this line here, right click on it, and select preferences. Under preferences, we have global settings. Uh, you can scroll all the way down here. Ensure this is set to service, okay? All right. And if we move ahead to the general settings, uh, we have these options here, which is icon size. I think this one is good enough. The zoom size, you can just reduce it a bit uh, so it's not too obvious. And icon distance, we can just put it up to four. I'm going to show you how to add icons to this macOS doc. And before we do that, I'm just going to X on this. If we click on this magnifying glass up here, it's going to show the stacks bar down here, all right? And you can go ahead and click on the Windows icon there. In order to add icons to this doc, we're just going to pick one of these apps here. Just right click on it and select Open File Locations. Now we have all the shortcut for the apps here. And some are secured in a folder and some are just the way it is here. All right, now if you want to add this Excel to the doc, all you have to do is to drag this down here. It's as easy as that. Just drag it and drop it right there. Now we have the Excel here and you can just open from your doc. So you go ahead and do it to any of your favorite apps. You choose 
for instance we want, you want to google chrome here you can just do it here as well drag it down and it's gonna be there and we have this uh, MS Word just gonna drag it down here too all you have to do is to look for the apps you use quite often then you drag the shortcut into the Mac OS dot I believe that is it about that so I'm gonna X on this and we're gonna go to the next step and before I proceed guys leave this video a like subscribe to this channel if you've not done that this way you won't miss out on videos like this okay now proceed to the next step which is to install Raymeter. to do that we're going to head on back to the browser go to the link just go ahead and click on the download icon once that's done just going to head on back to the file location the downloads just go ahead and double click on this click on ok next install select finish click on this after the installation, you get this welcome to Remeter. Just go ahead and right click on it and unload skin. I'm going to do it for everything here. Right click on load skin. All right. Now that we have the Remeter installed, the next thing we're going to do is to install Remeter skins. We're going to be using just two Remeter skins in this video. We're going to head on back to the browser again. Now here in Remeter skins.xyz, we're going to scroll down here and we're going to download this blue ash Remeter skin. All right. Just click on download. Once that's downloaded, we'll go to the next one, which is github.com. And here we'll be downloading Monterey Remeter. Just go right here on to the right side. On the right side here, you want to click on the latest. Click on that. And now we're going to download the first one here that says Monterey 1.02 RM skin. Just click on that as well. And again, we're going to add them back to our downloads. First, we're going to install the blue ash. Just double click on that. Click on install. All right. Now we have this beautiful looking visualizer. It's too big. The first thing we're going to do is to adjust the size. Let's just scroll down to reduce the size and scroll up to increase. Okay. So now we're reducing the size of this. So I believe the size is good enough and the position is just nice right on the left side there. As you can see, when I speak, you can see some movement right there on the visualizer, which is looking beautiful already. We're going to go to the next step. Now we're going to install the Monterey. Okay. We're going to head on back to download and I'm going to double click on this Monterey. Just double click on that. Select install. All right. Going to minimize this. Now, one by one, we're going to add widget to this desktop. Okay. And on that widget, we're just going to toggle on whatever we need to go onto the desktop. First thing I need here is the calendar. Just going to toggle it on. I'm just going to drag that to the right side first. Next one I need is the notes. Just go out for the note. And guys, you can do it according to your taste. Okay. It's up to you what you want. I need this weather. I'm just going to set to wide here gonna drag it to the right side first before we arrange it next one is the reminder drag reminder to the right side here music okay let's drag it here first and uh, volume I'm gonna set this to medium okay and drag it here before we arrange this widget now we're gonna go to appearance first Click on appearance, click on blur. Now it's on blur already anyways. The widget size for me, I think this is too big. I'm just going to reduce it a bit. Click on here. I'm going to set it to 65 and tap on enter. All right. One more thing we have to do under the weather before we arrange this. Just right click on here. Go to edit weather. And here you're going to enter your city. Uh, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to put New York. After doing that, just tap on enter and click on save. All right. Now I'll go ahead to arrange this. You can just follow as I do it. First, I'm going to set this to wide. Just right click on it. Select wide. Guys, for me, I think this widget size is a bit too big. So I'm going to go ahead and set it to 60, right? In 60, tap on enter. All right. Now this looks better, okay? Um, now we're done arranging this. After everything is well arranged the way you want it, you're just going to go ahead and X on this. Close this settings. Now, in case you don't get any of this widget, 
on your desktop don't panic to access the rain meter settings just go right here click on this arrow this is the rain meter icon here just click on that and you have this okay for this monitor just go right here click on settings and click load okay this is how you get to open the settings okay and you can always access this rain meter settings this is where all your widgets are so i'm just gonna close this and i'm gonna close this as well one more thing i forgot to tell you you must make sure to enable your transparency effect before you start doing all this okay just right click on your desktop go to personalize and here we have these colors just click on colors on the transparency effect make sure this is toggled on if you don't have this on it's going to affect the appearance of your teams okay so we're going to x on this now also this blue edge has got a bit of extra theme here if you look up there just drag it down here right click on it and unload skin now we're going to proceed to the final step which is to change this cursor to a mac os cursor we're going to go for a dark one and now we're going to head back to the browser just go back to the browser here in github.com we have mac os cursors for windows we're going to scroll down here and on the right side again we're going to click on latest i'm going to scroll down and we're going to select the first one we say source code just click on that once that's downloaded we're going to head back to our download okay go back to download folder now we're going to right click on this zip file we're going to extract all select extract we're just going to x on this now i'm going to open this folder let's open this macOS cursors and i'm going to open this as well here we have two options we have l captain and before and here we have syria and newer which obviously is the newer version so this is what we're going to go for just click on that and we have two options as well with shadow no shadow now we're going to go for no shadow just click on that we have three options we're going to go for the normal size okay we're going to rename this to mac os cursor okay just highlight on it mac os cursor I'm going to right click on it, select cut. I'm going to head on back to Windows C and we're going to paste it right here. Click on it and just highlight on this install, right click on it and select install. Click on that. Click on open. If you get any notification, just click on yes. Now here you're just going to drop down here and you're going to see the options you have here. And now here's the one we're looking for. Just select that and click on apply. Click on yes click on ok and now we have a new dark mac os cursor okay once that's done just go ahead and x on this minimize this now i'm going to show you how to remove this mac os dock in case you don't need it anymore just go ahead to your taskbar right click on it and go to your task manager I'm gonna go right here and now you're going to look for mac os dock just right click on it and select end task you're going to do the same for this okay right click on this and end task after doing that just x on it i'm not doing that because i don't want to uninstall it after doing that you're just going to go back to your windows c then you're going to delete my dock and just in case it doesn't delete just going to restart your computer and try again okay that is all you have to do to remove my dock from your computer so we're gonna x on this that is it about this video guys hope you found this video helpful subscribe to this channel leave this video a like and also turn on your notifications so you don't miss out from my next post okay have a nice day peace out